Question 1. What is the critical section in TIBCO Business Works and what is it used for? Answer. Critical section is used to sync process instances so that only one process instance executes the grouped activities at any given time. Any concurrently running process instances that contain a corresponding critical section group wait until the process instance that is currently executing the critical section group completes. Particularly used for controlling access to shared variables. Critical section is one of the group actions. Others are iterating. Repeat until true. Repeat on error until true. While true. And pick first and transaction. If we select critical section as the group, then we get two options. Single group and multiple groups. Single group. If you wish to synchronize process instances for a single process definition in a single process engine, only one ear instance is deployed. Perform the following. Create a group around the activities you wish to synchronize. Specify critical section for the group action field. Specify single group for the scope field. Only one process instance at any given time will execute the activities contained in the critical section group. Multiple groups. If you wish to synchronize process instances for multiple process definitions or if you wish to synchronize process instances across multiple process engines, perform the following. Create a lock shared configuration resource and specify a name for the resource. To perform the synchronization across multiple process engines, check the multi-engine field of the lock resource. When the process instances are executed by the same process engine, locking is performed in memory. When the process instances are executed across multiple engines, the process engines must be configured to use a database for storage. And a database transaction is performed to ensure that only one process instance is executing the critical section group at any given time. Create a group around the activities you wish to synchronize. Specify critical section for the group action field. Specify multiple groups for the scope field. Use the browse button in the lock object field to locate the lock shared configuration resource you created in step 1. Perform steps 3 to 6 for any process definitions you wish to synchronize. Make sure you specify the same lock shared configuration object for all critical section groups. Question 2. If there are three activities in the critical section, JDBC update then a write file and then again JDBC update. If the second JDBC update fails, then what will happen to the file written by write file activity? Answer. The contents of the file will persist. Question 3. What are different types of transaction groups supported in TIBCO BW? Answer. It writ repeat until true. Repeat on error until true. Critical section transaction. Pick first while true. Question 4. If the message has hit the queue and there are no receivers for it and the receiver comes alive after 6 hours, what happens to the message? Answer. Message stays on the queue. Question 5. If there are 5 messages and prefetch property is set to 4 then what happens? Answer. Fetches 4 messages. Question 6. What all palettes you have worked in TIBCO BW? Answer. File palette, general activities palette, JDBC palette, HTTP palette, JMS palette, PARS palette, service palette, SOAP palette, WSTL palette. Question 7. What are the different types of variables available in TIBCO? Answer. There are three types of variables available in TIBCO. They are global variables. Global variables are used for assigning constants of value which is used over a project. Process variables. Pro Process variables are again of four types. They are activity output, predefined process variables, error variables, user defined process variables. Predefined process variables include dollar underscore global worlds and dollar underscore process context. Shared variables, user defined process variables could be defined at a process definition level and are assigned a value by using an assign activity. Question 8. What are the different acknowledgement modes for a message? Answer. There are six modes of acknowledgement. They are auto. Message is acknowledged automatically. Client. Use confirm activity for acknowledgement. TIBCO EMS explicit. Use confirm activity for acknowledgement. Only available for TIBCO EMS. TIBCO EMS no act dupes OK. Message is acknowledged automatically on its receipt. Transactional. When a transaction is included in a process definition, the message is act when the transaction commits. Question 9. What is prefetch and failsafe? Answer. Prefetch is fetching the messages from the server before receiver calls. Failsafe property enables to write persistence messages to the file with synchronous I.O. calls. Question 10. How do you send a response from a web service? Answer. We write to output to the queue from which we received the request. 
Question 11. What is the difference between SOAP event source and service pallet? Answer. SOAP event source is used for single operation, single end. Service pallet is used for multiple operations, multiple end bindings like HTTP, JMS. Question 12. If you want to count the number of times a job is called, how will you go about doing it? Answer. Use job shared variable in a critical section. Question 13. If there are 100 messages lying on the queue, what will you do and which activity will you use to retrieve one message at a time? Answer. JMS queue receiver with confirm activity. Sequencing key in a miscellaneous tab of the configuration could also be used. Question 14. What is the sequencing key in the miscellaneous tab used for? Answer. It is used to call process instances in the order they are created. Question 15. What happens if I put a static value sanitin in the sequencing key? Answer. All the processes which have this key in their sequencing key field will be executed in the order they were created.